Hi fellows, and this is RG353 Wii handheld game console, which it comes with a dual system, both Android system and Linux system. And here it is the Linux system, as you can see. So today what we're going to show you it is how can we change or how can we turn from this Linux system to Android system. So first of all, you will have to turn off from this Linux system first. You press the select button and then you will come down to see there's a suck down system or fast shut down system. Um, any of them. Just come on and turn it off and wait for the system to off. And once you confirm the system have been turned off, then there's a two way to um, turn uh, to enter to the Android system. The first one, it is the buttons which we have to press. This is the F button we used to call. Press this button, and then it is the power one button. Both of these two buttons together. Once you see the indicator lights on and comes with this logo, then just release the finger and wait for the system start. Once you see this logo, which means it's entering to the Android system. As you can see, the Android logo is showing as well. Just wait for a few minutes to start. Okay, here it is the Android system for RG353 Wii. And it comes with a touch screen, as you see. You just touch a screen, and just like an Android tablet. So after that, how are we going to turn it back to the Linux system? So you will just press it long, uh, press and hold, then we power off to turn off the Android system first. And after that, there's no need to press any button. You can just press the power on button directly to turn on the game console. Till you see this logo show on the screen, or the indicator is showing green light, which means the gaming system has been turned on and it is entering to the um, Linux system once you see this logo with red color. So just wait for the system to load to start. Okay, here we go. So this is the Linux. And as we mentioned, there's a second way to turn from the um, Linux, Linux system to Android system. So, but you have to turn it off first as well. Okay, once we confirm it has been turned off, then the second way it is that this SD card from the slot one from the TF1. This TF card, this SD card, 16 GB, which it pre-installed with the Linux system files, which it has files of Linux system, which means if this game console read their Linux system file, then it will enter to the Linux system if you are not pressing F button and power button to turn on with this uh, SD card installed it, then it will just enter to the Linux, Linux system once it read as a, a system card of uh, Linux installed in slot 1 if we, re we remove it from the slot 1 or TF1 we remove this SD card with a uh, Linux system and then we turn it on directly without pressing any button then it will enter to Android system only because it, there's no uh, Linux system files being installed with this uh, game console. But it can the, from the Android system, it can read the games from this um, SD card from slot 2 as well. And this SD card from slot 2, which it is um, for storaging or for keeping those uh, game ROMs files which means even you are using the Android system, you can still using, you can still reading the games from the SD cards from slot two. Let me show you. You slide down from the top and you will see that's Ambonit logo here. Just press it. Then you enter to see there's uh, different emulators here as well. And you will see there's uh, numbers of games pre-installed for different emulators. Actually, those games have been installed or pre-installed from the SD card from slot 2. Yeah, that's it. And here, you can turn off. 
Then we're back to the Android system. Thank you.